Hey y'all, what we have for you this week is going to be probably one of the easiest little bait fish patterns you could possibly tie. It's what we like to call the EP brush bait fish. He has his A to Z minnow, which is just a hair bigger profile, a hair bigger head, and it has his game changer eyes tied into it where these just have glue on eyes. And like I said, it's a hair smaller, a little better for our juvenile tarpon here in Southwest Florida. Um, the brush one, this is the original one. The brush ones have a hair more movement than these original EP bait fish style and I feel like they move a little more water because they have a little more of that circular cigar shaped head. Um, I'm going to show you a chartreuse one. Works great. We're very effective with it down in the keys and that clear water for juvenile tarpon. And um, like I said guys, this pattern, it, it's super easy. Um, the awesome thing about it is he's made it very simple for the morning before you go out on a trip or something to just whip up four or five of these in eight or ten minutes and it literally takes about a minute and a half, two minutes to finish that fly. Alright everyone, we'll be tying these flies on this one knot tarpon hook from Mustad. Nice strong hook. And to start, we're going to start with your thread way back here. It'll lie right at the hook point. And we're going to start with some three inch Sanyo chromatic brush in this bright green lizard color. Nice flashy chartreuse color. That strip of brush is cut into thirds and like I said I have it tied right on top there. Now we're just going to take this brush and you can see how I take my fingers and I grab the ones that are facing forward and I go ahead and I pull them back so they don't get wrapped over forward. And I'm going to wrap half to three quarters of the way up and then come up here and split my fibers and get a tie off point. Tie off that brush wire right there. Cut off if you have any little bit of extra. Then we have these little Enrico Puglisi finger brushes that work absolutely amazing for getting tangled fibers out. Go ahead and brush out that three inch fiber. Have a nice little body built already. Very quick, very simple. I wrap back on those a tiny bit just to give myself a little bit more room. And then we have this EP minnow head, an inch and a half chartreuse. And that is cut into fourths. Get one more piece out of those. Then you do the body, tie that right on top just like I did in the body right before you guys came in and then do the same exact thing you just did with that three inch fiber. Go ahead and wrap it all the way up to the front. Same thing, I use my fingers to sit there and brush all the fibers back the way the water's gonna flow as you strip it. Make a tie off point, tie off the brush wire, snip your extra. These are sharp little wires in the center of this brush, so you do want to push down your tags so you're not as likely to pop your thread when you go ahead and whip finish it. You have an awesome little bait fish body that has a lot of movement. It's got a good, nice, decent sized body, so it's going to move some water and make those fish feel it. EP has a billion different colors of this stuff, so you can obviously tie it in whatever color you like or prefer. Once you have that minnow head brushed out too, I like to go ahead and use that loon flow I always use to go ahead and seal off my threads. And then we have these little quarter inch eyes here in gold. I like to turn my pattern sideways like that, but I'll turn it back so you guys can see how I actually lay it on. But if you have it turned flat like that, you can rest your hands on the vise and it makes it a little more stable. For this glue guys, this is the Loctite gel and it just takes a tiny little dab. It is very strong glue and it holds quick and it holds good. So, go ahead, stick one of your eyeballs on, 
I do like to use the edge of my razor blade to hold it on there and hold it down to the hook shank, give it a real secure base to glue to, and that way you're not gluing the eyes to your fingers. Go ahead and turn it over, do the same exact thing. And if you want, you could always trim off. There might be some little crazy hair sticking out. It really doesn't need it though, guys, because it's all going to flow in the water as soon as you get it wet and as soon as you start to trip, strip it. And it's a great little easy bait fish pattern. Hope you enjoy.